Today we're taking a close look at two of Saskatchewan cities, Saskatoon and Regina. Stick around till the end and we'll share with you the latest up and coming development projects near Saskatoon and Regina. And if you're thinking of making a move to Saskatchewan, send me an email. My info is in the description below. So Saskatchewan is generally known as the business hub for Saskatchewan in general, but Regina is the capital city where a lot of the government regulations take place. Saskatoon's population is close to 273,000, where Regina is only around 228,000. Now there are more people in Saskatoon, and the question is, do people generally generally just love the riverbank that much more or are they just avoiding the legislative debates? Regina is more known for the oil industry because of the refineries that they have in the area there where Saskatoon is more known for the potash mines that we have near to the Saskatoon city. Within the past year, to give you an idea of the quick snapshot on the real estate market, Regina had 3,455 sales in the past year for single family and condo sales where Saskatoon had around 4,669. You'll also see a lot of the big buyers do take place in Saskatoon where there was 38 sales for condos and single family homes that were sold above a million dollars within the last 12 months whereas in Regina there was only 13 sales above a million. If you compare the University of Saskatchewan to the University of Regina it really isn't much of a comparison because the U of S is so much of a bigger campus with so many programs that are not available at the University of Regina. However, the joke is that yes, Saskatoon's university is a little bit bigger, but at least the U of R students in Regina don't get lost trying to find out where they're supposed to go for class. As far as restaurants and dining, it is very good in both cities. You'll see Saskatoon has the Berry Barn where we have wonderful Saskatoon berry picking season that is a great and local thing to do in the summertime. And in Regina, they're just very well known for deep frying anything that you can think of. But here is one word of advice that I will give you considering I grew up in BC. Do not eat the seafood in Saskatchewan. Only reason I say that is because we don't really have oceans here. Doesn't mean that there isn't sea good seafood restaurants. It just means that it's not as fresh as it would be if you live on the East Coast or the West Coast. Now, of course, Regina has the Saskatchewan Saskatchewan Rough Riders, the beloved Saskatchewan Rough Riders, not the Regina Rough Riders, by the way, even though, yes, they are in Regina. Now, again, I'm from BC and I didn't know that the CFL was an actual thing until I moved here. And I half jokingly say that, but really between Saskatchewan and Manitoba, I feel like the rest of Canada doesn't care about the CFL. And I know that I'm going to get somebody pipe up on this video and say, that's not true. But the joke here is that at least in Saskatoon, as compared to Regina, we do have other sports available as well. And I'm only half joking when I say that. Saskatoon is known for its music scene where Regina is more known for the theater district. In Saskatoon, we have the Jazz Festival, which is a big get together that happens on the riverbank in the summertime. We also have the Persephone Art Theater here in Saskatoon, where Regina has the Globe Theater, the Connexus Art Center, and Dark Hall. When you're looking at the nightlife, in both Saskatoon and Regina. In Saskatoon, you'll find Buds on Broadway for live music. You'll find Yuck Yucks Comedy Club right downtown. And you'll find the Long Branch that is a country dance club. Where in Regina, you will find Casino Regina, a Bushwhacker Brew Pub, and The Exchange where you can check in for some live music. In Saskatoon, you've got the Miwasan River Valley, which I've bragged about on other videos. It's a very nice riverbank here in Saskatoon, we are known for that, where in Regina, you have a man-made lake called Wascana Lake. Ah, my favorite part. The average temperature throughout the year in Saskatoon is minus 30 degrees Celsius, where in Regina, the average temperature is minus 32 degrees Celsius. Now, again, I'm half joking when I say that. It's cold everywhere in Saskatchewan. I don't actually know what the average is, but Saskatoon shines. Just saying. Now, again, if you're looking 
looking for tourism, Saskatoon has the Miwasan River Valley and Regina has the RCMP. As far as public transit goes, in Saskatoon, you might get stuck on your way across town at a railroad crossing. In Regina, well, you're just stuck in Regina. Up and coming projects and developments in Saskatoon will include a downtown events center, a bus rapid transit system. We've got the Lanigan potash mine that BHP Billiton is talking about. That is a multi-billion dollar project that a lot of people are very excited about for the area. And then Siast Kelsey campus is actually being moved from the west side of Saskatoon to the east side of Saskatoon, which will make it closer to the existing university area which I think is again exciting for developments in that area. In Regina there's talk about the Fleet Street Business Park. We've got renewable diesel and canola crush plants that are coming close to Regina which is again a very big and exciting new industrial development project and then there is a new police service facility that's being talked about in Regina as well. Thanks for being here today. If you are thinking of a move in Saskatchewan my emails in the description below. Otherwise don't forget to to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on this video next. Have a fantastic day.